everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kate Merrill with this WBZ News Update. Our top stories today. Police are searching for a man who attacked a waitress in Chelsea. Police say the woman was sliced with a knife after she chased the man who skipped out on his bill last night. She was taken to Mass General. She's expected to be okay. Detectives say they have a strong lead on the suspect. An elementary school teacher is under arrest, accused of inappropriately touching students. James Sullivan teaches the sixth grade at Rochester Memorial School in Rochester. Police arrested the 35 year old Saturday after several students came forward. He faced a judge in court yesterday. Rochester's superintendent says Sullivan was immediately put on leave and the district is now conducting an internal investigation. A dog is home safe and the man accused of stealing an SUV with him inside is due in court today. Police say a security guard spotted the vehicle at an Everett cemetery yesterday. They found eight-year-old Chief inside. Police arrested 50-year-old David Brady last night after chasing him down Paris Street in East Boston. The MBTA has big plans to modernize the Green Line and double its capacity. The T, uh, the T wants new Green Line cars that are lower and longer. There will be seats along the walls and five doors on each side. A new fare collection system will let riders board at any door. The new cars could arrive 2028. Some tracks will need to be upgraded. The project could cost around $3.5 billion. Let's get a check of your Tuesday forecast now with Danielle. Beautiful spring weather, Kate. Once the fog burns off, temperatures climbing into the 70s, inland 60s at the coast, with the wind coming in off the ocean. Beautiful, pleasant 70 to 75. Keene, Jaffrey, Fitchburg near 70. In Worcester, near 70. In Plymouth, away from the shore as well, 72. In Taunton today, 50s and lower 60s for us on Cape Cod. But the fog will fill back in tonight with some low cloud cover at the coast. A very similar situation to what we had this morning with a calm wind and clear skies inland. Overnight low, either side of 50 degrees. And look at that, pretty much a repeat tomorrow. 60s at the coast, 70s inland. We're going to do it again on Thursday. By the way, there may be a quick shower Wednesday night on Cape Cod as the area of low pressure goes by. Thursday, here's the map by 6 p.m. Showers are still to our west. These will push through Thursday night, cool us off a bit into the mid 60s on Friday. The weekend a little unsettled just because there's a front nearby. So that may bring some clouds and a shower or two later Saturday into early on Mother's Day. But we should jump into the 70s for the second half of the weekend and the start of next week. Kate? Looks great, Danielle. Thank you. Thanks for watching. I'm Kate Merrill. This has been a WBZ News Update. Have a great day.